take over or just what the game was what the game gave you? I think it was a mix of both. Um, you know, I've wanted, I think, the last the last couple of games I've gotten up to a, you know, pretty good start. Um, but everybody else um, didn't get going. So really in the first half, uh, first quarter and, you know, that beginning of the third, I wanted everybody to kind of, you know, feel good about themselves. And, you know, then at some point we were down, you know, by a few points and I just felt like, it was time to, you know, get going and, uh, you know, get myself going and just be aggressive. So, um, got lucky with a few shots that I made, but, you know, I was just being aggressive. Um, man, he's been doing that all season. That's how I got. Fall quarter, we know where the ball's got to go. Uh, we go and go to Tyrese. Um, you know, he plays, you know, the full, you know, quarter. So, you know, we, you know, he gets hot. You know, he's been carrying us all season long, um, you know, four quarters. So, you know, we just know we just got to give him the ball and put the ball in his hands. All-star running underway. What kind of case is he making to make his first All-Star team? Well, you tell me, you know, I don't think it's a question. Um, he should be, I mean, he's way better than All-State should be. I know there's not much of a difference, but, you know, being a starter is a little different than, you know, just being an all-star. So, you know, he should definitely be a starter. He's been consistent all season, um, you know, carrying us, um, you know, doing whatever it takes. And we're winning. Um, so that counts for something. So, yeah, I think, you know, he, you know, he deserves to be an all-star, especially a starter. When well, you hear the, the names, last couple of games, you've been experimenting, experimenting more with crossing over when you have space and sort of getting opposing bigs off balance. Is the crossover something that you've worked on more in the last summer and recently? Um. I mean, I feel like he's, he's been there. Uh, my summer was weird. Um, I didn't really have time. I didn't get the chance to work on my game. Um, and I was, uh, you know, more, it was more, you know, rehabbing. And obviously I had the wedding, so I didn't really get the chance to work on my game. But I feel like he's always been there. And uh, we just adjusted a few stuff. So um, obviously I'm using my handle a little more than I have in the past. Um, and he's paying off. So so, uh, honestly, like I said, just taking whatever the defense is giving me. Uh, if they're going to cut me off, you know, you know, I got that, you know, crossover step back and, you know, really just taking that whatever they're giving me. Is that something that, like, you've learned from playing with James or is that just, well, you always have it? No, nah, man, uh, I've always preached this and I've always said that I want to be a complete basketball player. So, you know, if I see something that someone has and I don't, of course I'm going to learn it and I'm going to get better at it and I'm going to start using it. So, I mean, James obviously made a living with, you know, the, you know, between the legs, between the legs, making you fall asleep into the step back and, you know, that pull back. Um, but a lot of guys also do it. So, I you know, just, you know, try to take as much as possible and learn and uh, get better. So, I know you've been asked about the ten stretch, you know, throughout this you know, 12 game run. But tonight you move into a tie with Kareem. You know, Kareem was the last one that had 12 in a row. You know, and the only other names on the list are Will and Elgin Baylor. I mean, you're talking the higher echelon of, of the sport. When you hear that, what does that make you think? Nothing. Um, <laughs> we're winning. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, we're winning. You know, I saw... You know, that's all that matters. Um, stats are great, and, you know, it's good to put up stats. Uh, but, you know, if he comes with, that, with a loss, you know, that's a different story. But, you know, if he comes with a win, of course, he, you know, is, uh, you know, it's a lot. It means, you know, whatever. But, you know, that's uh, – nah, to me, that's not – too much of an accomplishment. Uh, you know, there's, you know, guys that have a lot of records in this league. Um, I mean, James did it. I think he had, what, 40 straight 30 points at some point uh, a couple of years ago. Um, you know, Kobe had a score on run, you know, all those guys. So there's a lot of records, there's a lot of stats, uh, you know, and, you know, they're going to be hard to break. So, you know, all you worried about, you know, like tonight, like I said, you know, I felt like. You know, I played within the offense and I didn't, you know, force anything. I took whatever that was given to me and, you know, I also, 
You know, one thing that I've been trying to figure it out is, you know, when to be aggressive. Um, you know, when to let, you know, my teammates uh, do their thing, and when when to also pick it up and be aggressive and take 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 over. I think, you've been, I think you've been 17 to 17 from the line before you missed that last one. What was your reaction when you missed that? That would have given you 50. And do you owe Paul Reed anything for grabbing that rebound? I missed it on purpose. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I mean, I guess I wasn't. You know the bright, uh, the lights were too bright, so <laughs> that's why you know too much pressure on it uh, to get the the, the fifty piece. Uh, you know the lights were too bright, so it's gonna you know. Pee Reed made a great play, obviously, and uh, I decided to uh, you know stat pad and you know take the last shot uh, to get the fifties. I saw that happen. You know, you know, start shooting the ball, just open the game. I guess what opened up for you after that, like what allowed you to bounce back out there. Yeah, I mean, I think at one point I was uh, one point one for six, one for seven. Um, I, I just think you know, I, I just looked at it. Missed a few easy ones. I missed, you know, the ball slipped out of my hand again, um, you know, on the Kelly pass. Um, and then I got far hit on the head. And then, the, you know, end man, you know, also found me. You know, that's another shot attempt. So could have been different. So I, I wasn't really tripping about it. Um, you know, I just, you know, knew, you know, with the bigs being in far trouble, uh, that kind of gave me a lot of space to just, you know, whether it's to attack or, you know, get to whatever jump jump shot that I wanted to. Um, and, um, yeah, I just took advantage of it. You've had a lot of these, you know, 40, now 50-point games in your career. Is, is there a point that you just know, like, this is going to be one of those games? Or was there that tonight, or does it... You have to figure it out. I mean, with the start, it didn't feel like it. Uh, with the way I started, I, I thought I was going to shoot, you know, 2 for 30 uh, with the way I started. But, you know, like I said, you know, it goes, I'm still learning. Uh, still getting better at it, um, you know. Tonight was a great step uh, towards it, as far as you know, just knowing when to be aggressive and when to take over, uh, and what to do uh, when the time comes. So I just think, you know, I just like I said, not forcing anything. Um, you know, just taking whatever the defense is giving me. Some nights you're gonna make shots. Uh, tonight I made a lot of them. Uh, you know, a lot of those pull-ups. Uh, some nights I'm gonna miss it, and it's, you know that's that's also fun. Nick said, really, Nick said he really liked your rim attacks tonight. Um, how much do you think that you know you being more aggressive in attacking the rim, kind of straight forward, getting downhill? How much does that open up the rest of your game? Um, I mean, uh, uh, I don't know. I think you know, he helps. Uh, when you're being aggressive and you're going down there and you're dunking the ball, um, most of the time I don't have the space to do so because every uh, defense is just collapsed. Uh, and then that's when I usually also take advantage of it and try to get my teammates, you know, easy shots. Uh, but, you know, that's, you know, we've been, you know, me and, you know, coach and, you know, Drew, we've been emphasizing, you know, that paint touches. Um, got to get the ball in the paint, get easy ones. Um, and I think that's really been the change this year. Um, any, any chances that I get, just trying to get to the paint as much as possible, and then everything else is going to open up. You know, we talked about rehabbing well, over summer, and it's important that you work on a lot of conditioning. Um, this season, it seems like you're being more aggressive on both ends and attacking every single possession. How important is that to you? Um, I didn't work on my conditioning. Um, I got fatter, so <laughs> I'm heavier than I was last year. But you know, I just uh, I'm just pushing myself more, um, understanding that you know every possession matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't you know shouldn't have to wait until the playoffs um, in the regular season. Obviously, you know with my body, you know sometimes. It doesn't allow you to do that, but you know, just trying my best, uh, offensively, defensively. Uh, you know, what I've been most excited about is you know the defensive end. I felt like I haven't really taken any you know plays off. Um, I've been going as hard as possible. 
uh, and uh, defensively, you know, we've been doing pretty good. I think we top five, so I'm happy about that. Thanks,